Alright, what's up, family? Uh, God bless, man. You know, Jesus Christ is Lord. I love y'all. I just want to check in right quick and I want to, I want to show y'all something. Everybody think that you know, all these stores are closing early or you know, have to do with the virus. I want to try to check out what Walmart looks like, like right now. And tell me this has to do with COVID 19. Y'all looking at this? Y'all see what's going on? Absolutely. They moved all the shelves and all the products out of the back of the store. Y'all telling me COVID, this is COVID-19 causing this. This is Satan's boot camp setting up these FEMA camps. Setting up these FEMA camps that they're going to be trying to put the Christians in and where they're going to be beheading folks and all that kind of stuff. I mean, read your Bible. Check it out. This is this is Walmart. This is a, a, a brand new store pretty much. It's not an old store. This store has only been here like maybe six or seven years and look at the, look how empty it is they emptied out the whole back of the store and in the front of the store they emptied out the front half on the, the, the uh, what's that called not the produce side but the other side is empty by the pharmacy and then they're they're closing earlier on that side than this side and one exit only one exit is open on the store all day long so y'all telling me that this COVID-19 is making them shut down half the store come on man y'all need to wake up people need to wake up and see what's going on tell me this is what Walmart's supposed to look like why, why are they doing this? Because of a virus. Can somebody tell me? Can I get a legitimate answer? So a virus is, first of all, the virus comes out after 8.30. That's why they close at 8.30. Then they're taking out all, all the, this is not even food. This is like merchandise, pet care, all that stuff. They said it's a food shortage, but what does that have to do with cleaning supplies and stuff like that? Why are they shutting down half the store? Can somebody tell me why Walmart is doing this? Like this is a store that like probably December was full. Like this store was always full. I used to, I used to have this store all the time when I was a salesman. I used to come in here, and this is one of the one of my biggest accounts. It's like in a, in a ritzy neighborhood. This is not a poor store. Why are they doing this? Why are they shutting down half the store? And they're moving. They're, they're, I guess they're condensing to one side. Is that because of a virus? Can somebody tell me that? I want somebody to answer me. Some some of these people that think we, we, this is a conspiracy theory. I want y'all to tell me what's going on. Since we we such conspiracists. We're making this stuff up. You tell me why Walmart is shutting down half the store. You tell me why they're, um, they have one entrance at Walmart. Is that because of a virus? So opening two entrances caused the virus to spread. Is that what that is? Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. <laughs> they're getting ready to set up these, these FEMA camps on Walmart. Walmart, if you flip Walmart backwards, it spells martial law. I'm telling y'all, man, you better wake up. It's a life right with Christ because this is what it is. All these people that think it's not what it is, it is. I'm going to show you again. Let's check, check, just check this out. This is the store. Okay, this is the grocery side. Boom. Full. The alcohol, full. Boom. All the stuff that you don't need is full. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to go over here to pet care. Boom. And you see the store starting to be empty on the other side. Why? Why are they doing this? Can somebody tell me why? So all these people want to dispute what we're talking about, what we're saying. Oh, the Christians are conspiracy theorists. They're all crazy. Yeah, look, look at what, what's happening at Walmart. And tell me it has to do with COVID-19. Please tell me that. Somebody give me, please be, be, have enough courage to tell me that. Because you're a liar. You, you're not going to say it because that's not what it is. Nobody can explain why this is happening. Now, if I get time, I'll walk up to the front and I'll show you what the front of the store looks like. They took out half the registers in the store. They're not, they're not remodeling. This is almost a brand new store. So somebody give me a you know, give me a logical answer and we could talk about it. Other than that, I'm just telling you I need to get your life right because it's coming. And the people that already got, you know, that already, you know, serving Christ, get ready. This is for us. This is for us. Right now it's this mask. They're saying, okay, you don't wear the mask, you can't come in the store. Next is gonna be if you don't wear the mask, you're gonna go to jail. And after that, if you don't take the vaccine, you're gonna go to jail. If you don't take the chip, you're gonna go to I'm telling you this this is what's happening. Wake up and smell the coffee. Look at look at Walmart and tell me this is supposed to look like this. Nothing. There's absolutely nothing back here. This is the back of the store. Go to the front of the store. Half the store looks exactly the same. The front half, of the, the left half of the store, where, the, where like the, the body wash and all the cleaning supplies and all that stuff on the other side of the store, is empty and it's shut down. Somebody give me, somebody give me an explanation. Because I asked people that work here, they can't give me no explanation. Nobody can tell me why the store is empty. They, they said it's a food shortage, but this is not food. This is not. This is. The other side of the store. So, again, all y'all people that, that think we're crazy, come 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 visit a Walmart and see what. Show me why they have one entrance open and they have a line going in with a line with a divider, and you gotta do like basically like an assembly line to go in and out of the store. Is that because of a virus? 
I don't think so. So you, you can logic, and in your mind, if that's logical, then something's wrong with you. I don't understand how you can even think that that has anything to do with a virus. And closing one inches is not stopping the virus either. So please explain me. And all the Walmarts are doing it. It's not just one. It's every last one of them. Even neighborhood Walmarts are doing it. They got one way in and one way out. Because when they set up FEMA camps, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be one way in and no way out. Not unless you go through whoever's at the door. Which is probably going to be military. So you wake up, smell the coffee, y'all. Get your true relationship with Christ, you know what I'm saying? And all these people that are calling, calling us crazy, just let them call us crazy. And I do, I don't care. You can call me what you want. I know the truth. So. And everybody's going to find out soon enough that what I'm telling you is the truth. It's sad to say, but this is, where we're, this is the, the time we're living in. Well, let's talk to people that don't have a relationship. If you have a relationship with Christ, it's not sad because Christ shows you for this end time for a reason. So, and again, I'm going to show y'all when I walk out, I'm going to show you what, what I'm talking about. Why Walmart is almost completely empty. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Check it out. All right, now, all, the, all the, the COVID supporters are saying that this is because of COVID. This is why Walmart is doing this. Look at this. I'm going to show you again. Empty store. The whole back of the store is empty. Why? Somebody explain to me why. Give me a good valid reason. Is, it, is this eliminating germs? Is that what it's doing? Is it keeping people's distance, you know, social distance? What is it doing? What is the reasoning? What is the motive behind it? Can somebody tell me? Somebody that doesn't believe what I'm saying. Give me a reason why this, the whole back of the store is empty. Pet care, empty. Cleaning supplies, they're moving all this stuff out. Why? Why, I ask you. For all you people that know more than we know and think that we're crazy, think that it's a conspiracy, that they're using COVID-19 to usher in martial law and the new world order. So give me an explanation. And I'm gonna walk you to the other side of the store. I'm going to let you see how they're slowly but surely condensing everything. This is the middle of the store. Nice and full. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see everybody wearing their, everybody's wearing their mask. So for those of y'all that, that, you know, think the mask help, everybody in Walmart's wearing masks, so we're all, we're all okay. I got my little, you know, my scarf or whatever, so I don't offend anybody or infect anybody. I'm going to go over here to the other side of the store. Oh, what? there's one. She's in trouble. Where's your mask, ma'am? Some people being disobedient, I tell you. Walmart is going to be the boot camps. Trust what I say. Write it down. Write down the date. Shut it down. It's the other side of the store. See how empty this starting to look? You see how empty they're making it? They're emptying out everything. They're, they're moving registers out in the middle. See? Come over here, look. These are the doors that are closed. Why are these doors closed all the time? This door is closed. Let's see why. And this is not just because of the time of day. This is right now. It's been like this all day. Now see what I'm saying? Why? Why are the doors closed? Isn't that a fire hazard? Don't they have a marshal, a uh, fire marshal? Isn't that like a, a, guess fi a fire code or something? I need some of y'all educated people to, you know, give me some feedback. Let me know what's going on, because I'm not that educated, so. That's so I've been told. I'm not that smart. I'm just making up stuff as I go. But you can't explain to me why Walmart is half, it's almost empty. And this is not just this one. This is, I've been to probably 10 of them in the last two weeks, and they all look like this. All the neighborhood Walmarts shutting down everything. Look at that. This is, it used to be all registers up here. And this is, like I said, this store is maybe, maybe eight years old. It's not, a, it's not an old Walmart. <laughs> Ooh. Look at look at ever, anybody ever noticed all the cameras they got? They got a camera like for three cameras on each register. Wow. And what are they trying to what are they looking for? And one of these cameras goes probably a hundred yards. So why they got three of them in a row? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm. Interesting. This is it's interesting conspiracy theory stuff that just came up with. Just hoping I can get some answers because, you know, at the end of the day, all I want to do is cause confusion. I don't have any real motive by what I do. What is this? You might know what this is. They just put this in. Ooh. What is this? Hmm. Interesting. Look like some kind of scanner. Scan a barcode. Hmm. Oh, pickup. Yeah. How about that's the scanner chip when, they, when you get that chip in your hand so you can buy and sell. Ooh, interesting. This is all, all conspiracy theories. I just, you know, like to stir the pot, see what everybody thinks. So again, 
I, you know, I'm encouraging feedback. Somebody give me some feedback. Let me know what's re what you really think. Am I just crazy? Or? I've already been told that anyway. So. Oh, ooh, self -check. All these, these front five or six registers, ooh. We're good up to this point. So anyhow, I was just trying to show out what Walmart is doing. Everybody think it has to do with the virus. Walmart is shutting, all of their Walmarts are shutting one entrance. And you only can go in and, in and out one door. So that's by making everybody go into one entrance and out one entrance, is that, is that separating everybody? Is that making it better? Or is that making it worse? Or does it really have to do with the virus? Just want to know. Look, 8 o'clock. 8.30. Ooh. Since when did Walmart close at 8.30? Walmart used to be 24 hours. Why are they closing at 8.30? Is there a big threat or something? Or is there a reason? Does the virus come out at 8.30? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, why is it an emergency exit though? What's the emergency? Hmm. You'd think they leave them open if it's an emergency, right? Why would you lock and close them? Hmm. That's a good, that's a good information though, Mike. I appreciate that. That doesn't make sense to me. You got four capable exits. Why would you close one to make an emergency exit that only people can go out? <laughs> not logical to me, but of course, like I said, I'm not that educated anyway. I just kind of go with the flow. I'm just waiting for all my, my educated people that say that we're conspiracy theorists and we're making all this stuff up and that we're not living in the, in, in the last days and the end time. And all of this Walmart shutting down stuff has to do with the virus. It doesn't. Because right? if that's the case, they shut them all day. Not, oh, 8.30 is the cutoff time. They're getting us ready for martial law. New world order. Trust what I say. All of y'all that don't believe, you'll believe soon enough. That's why they slowly but surely, can, you know, with that fear, they convince you to give away your rights. Okay, yeah, let's make everybody wear masks. Well, let's make everybody stay in the house. Or we're going to shut down the, the country until this virus goes away, which is not going away. And they're, they're, they're boosting the numbers to make it like it's worse than it is. But it's, it is a real virus. It's not going anywhere. Because it's been around since 1993. It's called sars cov -2. And I know all the people that are educated are going to say, oh, well, this is a different strain. I don't want to hear all that. The flu has different strains, too, but we're not shutting down the city for it. So. You, can see, you can shoot all that to somebody that's, that's, that's going to believe it. So. I'm actually one, one of those people that actually does research and studies for myself. And, and most importantly, <laughs> led by, by the Holy Spirit, which, which God says he's not going to leave you uh, dumb to the devil's devices. And like I said, if somebody can explain this to me, let me know what's going on. Empty back of the store. Ooh, brand new store. Eight years old. This is the one over in Colleyville. Colleyville is a rich neighborhood. There's not no poor people in Colleyville. There's no reason why they're shutting down this Walmart. They're not. What are they going? What are they doing with all this space? These are all shells. It, she, shells came up to this little blue barrier right here. They had shells all the way. Probably it was probably a hundred more shells. Where'd they all go? Just curious. Hmm. New World Order coming to a store near you. All the Walmart, all the Walmarts will be participants. And it's going to be for all the people like me who refuse to obey and bow down to this wicked government and this wicked, you know, system that they're trying to build, which a lot of people think is a joke and think it's funny. But they're going to find out soon enough that it's not. Look at this! All these racks right here look like they're moving out. These are, this is clothing. Like they're, are they on clearance? What is it? Their clothing and this is here. Just in the middle. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're packing it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what do you know? He's taking it all off the shelf. So, anyway, I love y'all. I mean, I like I said, when I do what I do, it's because I want to make people aware of what's going on. But the people that don't want to be, they're not gonna, be, they're not gonna listen anyway. So, just do, do, do the research for yourself. Go to a local Walmart and see what's going on. Every one of them is doing the same thing. Every one of them is taking out you know, tons of space. Why? Like, what is the purpose? Walmart is one of the biggest retailers in the world. You know what I'm saying? Just, just in November, they built probably 300 more stores. Why all of a sudden are they taking all this stuff out? Well, for one, because they plan on shutting down the economy, crashing the economy, so everybody's going to be out of jobs. They're going to have a lot of machines running Walmart, like they already do. They're doing a lot a lot of self-checkouts. A lot of stores don't even Kroger's on that. They're taking out all the registers and putting self checkout setting it up for that mark the beast that chip when you you have to have that chip to buy or sell you don't have to scan yourself you know scan your chip in order to purchase your groceries and those self checkouts and i just saw you the big i just showed you the big uh checkout thing that they just put in in the middle of this walmart look at this oh this is the other side wow we just walked to the other side so what's, what's going on why are they doing this wow
What is the point? I probably could ask them, but they probably won't know. The whole store. Right? Mm. Somebody tell me what's going on. Somebody tell me what's going on. I need some feedback. Anybody, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that has any good information for me, let me know why Walmart's clearing out the whole back of the, all their stores. Like, what's the point? <laughs> You're right, Mike. They, they, they got me earlier, though. I was just being disobedient. I, I guess I better put it on. I'm not trying to. I do have my I do have my face covering, you know, although I don't really participate. I, you know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a good boy for now. I'm not gonna I'm not trying to stir the pot. So I got my mask on. See, I, all y'all people that are panicking, I got my scarf. So I guess they said Jesus loves me. Oh, they're closing at 8:30. Huh? Y'all heard that? They about to close. They said hurry up and pay for your stuff, or we're gonna lock you in the store. <laughs> Crack me up. You want me to ask him what's going on, Raphael? I'll ask him. Say, bro. Hey, why did why are they taking all the stuff out the back of the store? Like all the stuff, why are they emptying out the back of the store? Oh, I think they're gonna do some construction. They're doing construction on both sides of the store. I believe so. I don't know. Oh, okay. I know. I'm, I've been around here for a while. This is a brand new, pretty much a new store. I'm just trying to figure out what they were doing. Yeah. All right, appreciate it, man. Uh -huh, you're all right. Mm -hmm. yeah, of course. Yeah, ask anybody in Walmart any question, they don't know the answer. Is that not shocking you? It shocks me. Not at all. Because I know they're I know the bigger plan. I know what's happening. They're not doing construction in a brand new store. So there's nothing wrong with it. I was here when they when they built the store and they put you know, I was part of I worked at Pepsi, I was part of the team that put, you know, the soda the soda section in and all that, so I know this is a pretty it's a fairly new store. But anyway, like I said, I know I'm I'm the crazy one according to most people on Facebook and most people that talk to me, I'm psycho, so at the end of the day, I love y'all. I'm going to keep loving y'all. I'm going to keep trying to share this information. And I just pray that you know, everybody open their eyes and see what's happening. And people stop asking for the, the, walk, the martial law. <laughs> I've had, I don't know how many people I've had say, I'm ready for martial law because that's the only way we're going to get our point across. Y'all have no idea what you're asking for. I spent six years in the military. Trust me, if the military comes in, you don't have no more rights. They come in your house and put a bullet in your head. It's not like when the police wrongfully you know, kill somebody and you can sue them. Nah, they kill you. That's it. End the discussion. Oh, sorry. Where my mask? All right. So anyway, I love y'all. Uh, y'all take it easy. I'll probably be live again if they don't if they don't shoot me in the head or lock me up. <laughs> they already hate me, but I love them too.